What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and to another realistic rebuild here on a good old Madden on the PS2. The last great Madden here in Madden 08 and we are going to be taking over the Oakland Raiders with first overall pick Jamarcus Russell, arguably the worst quarterback or at least the uh not maybe not worst quarterback but the biggest bust at least in my opinion and probably in many other people's opinions in nfl history he was taken first overall as we all know in 2007 spent three years in the league and uh yeah no one else even wanted him he is an 82 overall in this game i guess you know because people didn't know he was gonna be a bust at the time there was all the hype because he could throw a football on his knees but uh, in today's video we're going to be trying to fix Jamarcus Russell if you will see what could have happened with him and the Raiders if he panned out to be what everyone thought he was going to be also, if you guys are new to the channel, this is the first video of mine you are checking out. It would be very much appreciated if you subscribed. And if you enjoy the video, leaving a like on it definitely does help. All right, let's take a look at this Raiders roster. Obviously, it's all about Jamarcus Russell. So not really too concerned about Josh McCown or Andrew Walter on the roster there. Lamont Jordan, he's a solid running back. Dominique Rhodes right behind him there. We got a couple of good fullbacks. I don't know why we need two of them, but we do. Jerry Porter is our number one wide receiver he's solid We've got travis taylor gabriel curry and eh, they're okay there uh zach miller okay he was solid uh left tackle's fine left guard is not and neither is right tackle defensive ends we got a couple nice ones here on the other side we got derek burgess he's a 93 overall warren sap of course a fantastic defensive tackle but he's up there in age we got some decent linebackers, it looks like. Namdi Asamoa, he's a 93 overall. He might be the best player on this defense. Fabian Washington is there as well. Looks like we got a solid secondary. Uh, of course, we got Seabass kicking for us and Shane Leckler, the best player overall on this team. All right, this is interesting. Just looking at the newspaper we just went 2-14 and 14 the year before, obviously, that got Oakland the first overall pick in Jamarcus Russell. They're expecting a big bounce-back season now with our fullback being the offensive MVP 11-5 deep playoff run. We'll have to see how that works out. Well, things did not go as the newspaper predicted. They said 11 and 5. We ended up going 6 and 10, which is actually better than what they did in real life in 2007. They went 4 and 12. We started off with a close loss against the Lions before beating the Broncos, losing to the Browns, and then beating the Dolphins. So we're 2-2 two and two going into our bye, and then we get shut out by the Chargers. The Chiefs beat us, Titans annihilate us, Houston beats us before we bounce back against a good Bears team, which got a bye. Then we beat the Vikings, lost to the Chiefs, get annihilated by the Broncos, lose to the Packers, beat a good Colts team. So we've beaten a couple good teams, but then we also lose to the 8-8 eight eight Jaguars. And then we wrap out the season by beating the Chargers. Well, things didn't go so well for Jamarcus Russell. Only 2,300 yards. He did deal with a little bit of injuries. Eight touchdowns, 21 interceptions. Granted, he is a rookie. He's also Jamarcus Russell, so there's that. 55% completion percentage. He was sacked 41 times. Our offensive line definitely not great. Lamont Jordan played good, though. 1,200 yards, 8 touchdowns for him. Russell also ran for a touchdown. Jerry Porter was the number one guy here. He had five touchdowns. Uh, Zach Miller, rookie, he had 52 catches, but only for 352 yards. That's not great, even for a tight end. Jordan caught a touchdown. Taylor with a touchdown. Bunch of guys with just a couple hundred yards here. But, I mean, when you don't even throw for 3,000 yards, your receivers aren't going to be getting very many big numbers. Offensive line, they had their struggles there. Cooper, who's actually a member of the Albuquerque Vipers, or at least he was for a long time. 13 sacks given up by him. Not a good look there. Uh, Morrison, 118 tackles for him. Three TFLs for Derek Burgess. He also had 11 sacks. Makes sense. He's over 90 overall, the best guy we have in the front seven. And then look at that. Six interceptions for Fabian Washington, including one likely pick six. 
And then Seabass, he played solid 82% when it came to kicking. His long was just 53 yards, but you know, he is good, old, reliable. And then Shane Leckler, best punter in the league, at least for the best at something. Ooh, we also got a couple return touchdowns as well. That's nice to see. A little bit disappointing, I guess, but I can't say I was expecting much for year one. The real meat of the rebuild is going to start in the offseason, so let's jump into that. There we go. We got Ron Rivera to be our defensive coordinator. Outside of that, though, our coaching staff is going to be the same just to kind of keep some stability around Jamarcus Russell instead of having him have like a new head coach every year, even though Kiffin is not the best head coach. We don't have the best coaches around him, but for the sake of stability, at least we're going to be going with mostly the same guys. Looking at retirements as we jump full on into the offseason now, Zach Crockett, our fullback, who I was probably going to release if he had not retired, uh, he's going to be retiring, as well as our cornerback, Starks, but I don't think he really did a whole lot for us this season. Well, actually, he made a couple plays, but uh, he's going to be hanging them up. All right, we're to the re-signing period now of the offseason, and we're going to start off by bringing back one of our best players in the secondary, probably our best player in Namdi Asama. He, uh, he's currently 27 years old. We're going to give him this three-year, $19 million deal, and he'll take it. We're also going to sign this outside linebacker, Sam Williams, to a three-year extension. Both of our centers are set to be free agents, and they're about the same overall. This guy here, Jake Groove, he is one rating lower at an 81, where the other guy's an 82 overall, but he's also 28. The other guy's about 32 years old, so I'm going to bring back the younger guy. Tommy Kelly is coming off of a nine sack season, which I think was second on the team, so I think that earned him a new contract. Stuart Schwertiger, or however you pronounce his last name there. Free safety, solid player, 85 overall. Welcome back to the squad. And all these other guys you see here are going to be hitting free agency. A couple of them are decent overalls, like 80 or above. Josh McCown is solid, but he's a backup, of course. Uh, some of these players are just busts that need to move on, or they're just not good enough. And so I'm pretty comfortable releasing a lot of these guys. Well, free agency didn't go quite as I had uh, hoped it would or would have liked. We went after Zach Thomas, not necessarily a need, but I mean, he's a heck of a linebacker, obviously. He ends up going to Tennessee. I then go after Larry Allen. He just seemed like a very Raiders type signing. He wanted nothing to do with us. He's going to Pittsburgh. I then, after I couldn't get Thomas, was like, okay, how about Teddy Bruschi? He wanted to sign with a contender, so he goes to the Saints. The only guy we're able to get is Matt Lear. Uh, of course, played for the Albuquerque Vipers for several years in uh, my Madden 07 series here. He's coming off of a decent year, it looks like, with the Buccaneers, though. We need help in the offensive line. It's probably our biggest weakness on a uh, not great Ra Raiders team but at least we could address that. Looking at our draft class now, we had the sixth overall pick in the draft, and with that, we took wide receiver Chris Henderson. He's 6'6 with a 97 speed. His awareness is a little low at a 74 overall. His catching solid at an 80. All around seems to be a pretty good player, but he's not even the highest overall we drafted. We traded back up into the first round in exchange for our second and third round picks. We sent those over to New England, and we got C.J. Bennett, a left guard here, helping out our offensive line, 83 overall, not bad at all. Then jump to the fourth round, we got Keith Thomas, 77, not bad value there. Then we got John Jackson to be a backup center, as we're just getting to the part where we're drafting for depth. We got Javon Terry at defensive tackle, and to wrap things up, we got Wells at left end. Second wave of free agency, and we were kind of just looking for depth, specifically at outside linebacker, but this guy, uh, Brian Thomas for the Jets, he had an underwhelming first like five years of his career, but the guy's coming off of a 12 sack season. So I think at very least he would make for some very nice depth on this solid defense we've got going on here. We got him after we tried going after Ben Taylor, but he chose to sign in Buffalo. And then we also got uh, Rashad or Rashim here, uh, who hasn't played in a couple of seasons, it looks like, but once again, just for depth. 
Okay, here's a look at the depth chart going to, into year two of probably three in the rebuild here. Jamarcus Russell starting quarterback. He actually went down a point after his terrible rookie season. Hopefully things will get better there. Lamont Jordan still running back, obviously. Still the starter for us coming off of, what, 1,200 yards? Uh, indeed it was. We got our nice fullback, Justin Griffith there. Chris Henderson's going to be wide receiver number one. Looks like Jerry Porter got hurt in the preseason. So that means Ronald Curry's going to have to step up, especially with this fat contract Oakland gave him. And he hasn't really produced thus far into that. And then also he got John Johnny Higgins, John Johnny Lee Higgins, man. That's a little bit of a tongue twister there, at least for me right now. Uh, he did have a Pro Bowl season last year when it came to returning kicks, so we did have at least one Pro Bowler. Zach Miller still our starting uh, tight end. Sims is still at left tackle. We're going to put C.J. Bennett, the rookie, at left guard. Jake Groove is going to be our center. Matt Lear is moving over to right guard. And then for now, at least, Robert Gallery is going to be at right tackle thing with him is he's a 77 overall and golly look at that money he's getting paid highest second highest paid player on the team only behind Jamarcus Russell so uh that's not really a good look there uh I might cut him I don't know man uh looking at the defense now Tommy Kelly at left end 83 overall Burgess is there defensive uh line is still the same so are our starting linebackers in fact our almost our entire defense is the same going into this season same goes for our special teams after a promising start to year two going uh, we, we were actually two oh and one uh, we were 2 1 and 1 going into the bye after beating the Chargers and Bucks, tying with the Bills, losing to the Panthers. And then we lost to the Chiefs, beat the Broncos, and then got shut out by the Texans, the Falcons. We lost to them. Then Miami, Cleveland, New England, Denver, Kansas City again beat us before we finally win again against the Saints. But that would be our last win of the season as we fall to the Chargers and the Jets at the end of the season, finishing with a 4-11-1 record. And once again, Jamarcus Russell did not play well. 2,760 yards, 12 touchdowns to 22 interceptions, 57% completion percentage, which is a tad bit better. Look at 5.8 yards per attempt, nearly sacked 50 times. Lamont Jordan had just over 1,000 yards and four touchdowns. Russell almost 100 yards on the ground and two touchdowns for him. Dominique Rhodes, he got in on the action a little bit there. Rookie Chris Henderson, he had 800 yards and five touchdowns. Zach Miller had himself a solid season, I guess. Lamont Jordan caught some passes. Ronald Curry not living up to that big contract Oakland gave him a couple years ago. Porter had 700 yards, or 700, I no, not even close. He had half of that with a touchdown. Uh, Higgins, he had himself two receiving touchdowns there. Offensive line. Did not play good here. I made a change at uh, left tackle. I think it was, maybe it was right tackle. Whichever side gallery was on, I switched Keith Thomas into there. And, uh, well, both of them kind of suck. Howard led us in tackles with just 73 of them, though. Six tackles for loss. We did have two guys with double-digit sacks, though, which is pretty nice to see. One of them is going to the Pro Bowl. And then we got some interceptions here, including three by Morrison before he got out for the season. And then Sebastian Janikowski, a down year for him, just 62% on his field goals and no kick or punt return touchdowns. And in the Super Bowl to wrap up season two of this now, you have the Patriots and the Seahawks meeting up a couple years earlier uh, than they did in real life here. And New England is victorious 20 to 10. They were tied at 10 apiece going into the fourth quarter before New England was able to pull away. Okay, for the last season, at least in today's video, we are bringing in a completely new coaching staff, 10 wins in two years. That's just not good. So come in, Mike Holmgren. He just won or just went to a Super Bowl, at least with the Seahawks. They lost, but you know, they were there. Good team. Bring him down to Oakland. Josh McDaniels, 
take him away from the Patriots, our offensive coordinator now. Ron Rivera, I was planning on keeping him around, but the Patriots want to bring him in to be their head coach as Bill Belichick just retired after winning the Super Bowl. So we're going to bring in uh, Romeo Cornell to be our DC. And then uh, for our special teams coach, we got Simmons coming in. All right, we got to free up some cap space going into this offseason. And Robert Gallery, he's kind of hot garbage. So uh, we're going to be letting him go and saving ourselves a ton of money. Ronald Curry, another guy who got a fat contract and uh, kind of stinks. So we're going to let him go as well. Okay, we're going to bring in Owen Daniels here in the restricted free agency. It will cost us our fourth round pick, but I think that's definitely worth it for an 83 overall tight end. All right, we have to bring back Shane Leckler. He's the best player on the team, 99 overall. Here's a six-year contract. Kirk Morrison has turned out to be a pretty good middle linebacker. He is a tackling machine, and we're keeping him on the squad. And it looks like those are going to be the only guys we're going to be re-signing. Cooper, he is going to be headed off to free agency after a couple of disappointing years here. Let's move on. A much more successful free agency going into year three. We beefed up our offensive line with right and left tackles. And we also got a washed up T.O. on the squad. That just seems like something Al Davis definitely would have done, bringing in a washed up T.O. But he's a 90 overall, though. We got him on just, I think, a one year deal. But I think he could definitely be good for us. Okay, so in the first round of the draft, I did something that you probably shouldn't do, but I did it anyway because Lamont Jordan, getting up there in age, he'll probably get cut actually after this because I brought in Johnny Bradford, fifth overall. He's an 84 overall running back, power back. He only has 88 speed, which isn't great. His strength is solid. 77 awareness is pretty decent. And uh, he looks like he's going to be the running back for the future in Oakland. I believe this was around the time that the Raiders also drafted Darren McFadden fourth overall. Something like that. I know they drafted him pretty high. So kind of comparable there, I guess. Terrence Parker, he fell out of the first round after being projected to go there. So we swooped him up early in the second 80 overall pass rusher. Then in the third round, we got Claiborne at center. He might be starting there for us this season. Then later in the draft, we got O'Sullivan here at uh, free safety, 97 speed, but he's only a 75 overall. We got Terry, a cornerback here in the sixth round. He's a 74. And then last, we got Glenn Smith, a defensive tackle. So like I said, we are going to be letting go of Lamont Jordan, uh, freeing up a total of $27 million. They're just looking at his contract, $7 million annually. Uh, even though he is in a contract season, he is also coming off back-to-back 1,000-yard -back campaigns. But he's getting up there in age, and I think it is time to let him go. Second wave of free agency has come and gone, and we just got some depth players on offense with Anthony Wright at quarterback to back up Russell, and then Lee Suggs at running back. Well, here's our depth chart going into the final season of this video here. Jamarcus Russell hasn't gotten any better, still an 82 overall, starting quarterback, of course, Johnny Bradford, starting running back, that's what happens when you get picked fifth overall, you better start, Tia will be taking over, wide receiver number one for now, but Chris Henderson will still get plenty of playing time, Joey Porter's going to be moving to the slot, it looks like, Owen Daniels, starting tight end, of course, we got Marvel Smith at left tackle, CJ Bennett at left guard, at center, Jake Groove, then you got Matt Lear on the other side there, and and John Runyon jumping to the defensive side of the ball for now Tommy Kelly will be there but Terrence Parker might get himself an opportunity uh, Burgess is there he has 11 sacks in the past three seasons now so pretty solid production from him uh, I'm gonna actually have Warren Sapp start uh, at defensive tackle even though he is 35 and a little bit uh, lower rated than Sands 
Um, outside linebacker, the CPU keeps trying to make changes to my depth chart. I don't like that. Sam Williams will be the starting outside linebacker. Morrison starting middle linebacker there. And then Thomas Howard, right outside linebacker. We got the same two starting corners. Uh, we also have, we basically have the entire same secondary that we had when we started off and special teams. Well, this season went better than the previous two. We're currently seven and eight going into week 17, but we are eliminated from playoff contention. I'm still gonna get you guys some gameplay from our game uh, here against the Browns, uh, just cause I like getting some gameplay in these videos. Generally, I would prefer it to be postseason or even Super Bowl gameplay, but unfortunately we have yet to get that far outside of the one playoff game in the Dolphins rebuild. But uh, yeah, we started off 2-0 this year uh, before falling to the Redskins and then getting annihilated by the Chargers. 500 going into the bye, we lose a close one to the Chiefs, get annihilated by the Broncos who have taken our division already. We beat Miami who only lost four games this, this season before getting then shut up by the Giants 7 to nothing. Wow. Uh, then we lose to the Broncos and the Ravens, bounce back against the Eagles, fall by one to the Cowboys, shut out the Chiefs, beat the Texans, beat the Steelers, and that's going to take us to our game. What the frick? What is this? What am I looking at? Is this normal? I haven't played a bunch of 08. What in the world? I think my game might have just froze. <laughs> might be broken. Well then, we'll have to see uh, where my last save file was, I guess. Well then, apparently it put me back in uh, year one. Bummer. Well, I'm gonna get you guys some gameplay anyways. That is really disappointing. I was actually really excited to, you know, have Russell out here throwing bombs to T.O. and that one receiver we got who was real fast. I already, I'm already blanking on his name. But now he doesn't even exist. Bummer. We weren't gonna make the playoffs anyway, but still, that kind of stinks. But uh, let's get you guys some gameplay, at least with Jamarcus Russell. All right, Oakland starting off with the football. Russell to throw. Oh, he's showing off that big arm on first down, looking for Porter. No, he dropped it. Are you kidding me? All right, Lamont Jordan with the carry. Nice move there. And kind of makes another man miss, gets out to the 40. Nice throw, Jamarcus. Oh, too far. This is going to be out of the back of the end zone. And he makes the catch now, too. Second and ten. Throwing on the move. What a catch by Porter. I thought that might be picked. All right, it's third down. Um, Russell's rolling. He's going to stop and throw. Nice job there. Improvising, getting us down to the goal line. Goal to go from the five. Russell moving to his left. And they're going to rule him just shy. Dump it off to the back. And he's in. Touchdown Raiders. Oh, and Jamarcus Russell isn't even 100%. He's probable going into this game. Dang, like that was a really nice drive too. And just in case you are wondering, I am playing on all pro, not playing on all Madden because I am a wuss. And I hate the vision going. All right, the defense forced a three and out and that's gonna give Jamarcus Russell enough time to try to lead a two minute drill to extend this lead before halftime. Get out that to Curry, take it upfield, gets across the 50. Over the middle, we got Curry again. That's nine more yards. Tack on a face mask. San Diego stacking the box, but they're going to back out of it. Russell kind of wants to go deep, doesn't have anyone open, so he's just going to run with it, sliding after picking up 10. Russell looking to run the football again. He's got some wheels, and he's going to use them 10 more yards. Russell wants to throw again. 
He's pressured, rolling to his left, and might as well run it. He can take it all the way. He lost the football. Is it just an Oakland Raider quarterback thing to do that? I don't know. Rivers looking to throw. Left side, intercepted by Fabian Washington. All right, we're pinned pretty far back in our own territory for a two-minute drill, or a 15-second drill, with, but with Jamarcus Russell's arm. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> Said no one ever. Ten seconds left. Russell pressured, moving to his right, and they're going to catch him from behind. Basically a Hail Mary. I'm not even sure Jamarcus Russell can throw the football this far. He's still going to try, though. Zero's on the clock. Incomplete. That's going to take us to halftime where we lead by seven. Start off the next quarter. Russell's going to throw on the move to his fullback. Nice throw and catch. Two minutes left to go in the game. All we have to do is not choke, so I'm going to throw the football. Right on the move there. Curry breaks a tackle. Gets brought down just shy of midfield. Look at that. 108 yards for Jamarcus Russell. No interceptions. I'm so proud of this guy. Not being garbage like Jordan in the backfield is right now. Big third down. Going to dump it off to Jordan. That's a first down and that should be game. But you know what? We've only scored one touchdown. Like, that is unacceptable. That's also unacceptable right there. <laughs> third and long now. Russell, he's got a man open on the right side. That's Curry. That is a first down. What a play. Well, that's going to do it for this game here at least. Seven to nothing, a little bit of underwhelming, but you know, we got a win. Well, that's going to do it for this video. A little bit disappointing, especially with it not saving at the end. My game kind of crashing. Um, I'm glad I still got some gameplay in there, but uh, a little bit disappointing also in the respect that we just didn't do very good. The best we could have done was finish 500 if my game didn't freeze there, but uh, yeah, we didn't uh, quite save Jamarcus Russell's career. He kind of, at least in the sim, played, I would say, somewhat similar to what he did in real life. But uh, yeah, I was kind of thinking I'd do a part two to this maybe like with all these young players, maybe do three more seasons in a different video. I don't think that's going to happen, though, since, you know, I lost all that progress I made. Um, but yes, that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, that would be awesome if you subscribed and, uh, you know, left a like on the video. These generally take me three to four hours to record, plus editing and all that stuff. Um, so if you guys do enjoy it let me know uh, leave a comment you know leave a suggestion if you want me to do these videos differently or um, suggestions for other rebuilds on these old madden games i'm always open to those in fact this video was a suggestion from back in my tim couch uh rebuild out in in the comments of that one there so yeah if you have any suggestions like that i am uh, completely open to that but until next time this has been jeffrey reminding you to stay moist